Introduction Dear friends, do you know why we eat food? Correct. We eat food to grow and to get energy. And guess where does the food come from? I know you can answer this. Yes, we get food from plants and animals. Let's learn more about sources of food in detail. Objectives At the end of this course, you'll be able to list the sources of food, discuss about the plants and animals that give us food, define herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous animals. Dear friends, as we know that the plants are important source of food. They give us fruits, vegetables and cereals. You'll be surprised to know that these plants also need food to grow. They prepare food by their leaves in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Then some food is used by plants and the remaining is stored in different parts of plants like roots and stems. Friends, we eat the stored food of plants in these plant parts. It is good for our health. Many plants store food in their fruits. There are some plants which store food in their leaves. Some plants store food in their roots also. Some plants store food in their stems. Many plants store food in their seeds. We also eat many of these seeds. Now we move on to our next topic. Animals are an important source of food. Some animals such as cow, goat, buffalo and camel give us milk. The milk contains many vitamins and minerals which are very essential for our growth. The milk is also used to make many dairy products such as cheese, butter, ghee, curd and ice cream. Friends, some animals such as hen and duck give us eggs. Flesh of some animals such as hen, duck, buffalo, goat and fish is used to eat. Hey, now it's time to have some fun. Drag and drop the correct options to fill up the blanks. Friends, all animals have different types of eating habits. Some animals like cow, deer, goat and buffalo eat only plants. Hence, they are known as herbivorous animals. Some animals like tiger, eagle and lion feed on other animals. They eat fleshes and get nutrition. They all are known as carnivorous animals. There are some animals those who eat both plants and flesh. For example, bear and crow. They are known as omnivorous animals. Friends, now let's quickly check what we have just learned so far. Drag and drop to match the following. Summary Now friends, let us summarize what we have learned so far. Food gives us energy and helps us to grow. We get fruits, vegetables and cereals from the plants. We get milk, egg and many dairy products from animals. Those animals which eat plants are known as herbivorous. Those animals which eat flesh are known as carnivorous. Those animals which eat both plants and animals are known as omnivorous.